Hi there. How many of you remember the Pythagorean theorem? Perhaps you learned that in high school? I happen to like the Pythagorean theorem. This is how it goes. Let's imagine you have a right triangle, and it could be any right triangle. This theorem applies to all right triangles, and when you have two of the legs, the values of those legs, if you take the square of those values and sum them up, that will be equivalent, equal, to the value of the hypotenuse squared. So in effect, this theorem says a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, whereby c is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the side that is right opposite the right angle. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's imagine we have the value of 3 for one of the legs and the value of 4. If we were to square that, 3 times 3 is 9. We can raise this value to the second power. That's how you represent squared. And we do the same thing for side B. What we get is 9 and 16. If we highlight both those cells, the sum appears here. It's 25. 25, the square root of 25 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Let's confirm that right here. We take the square root of 5, and you get 25. The sum of 9 and 16 right here is equivalent to 25. So there you have it. That is the Pythagorean theorem live in action. Now, what I want to show you today is how Google Spreadsheet can calculate all this using a single function. Now, the function goes as follows. Begin with an equal sign, followed by sum squared S-U-M-S-Q, S-U-M-S-Q. And at that point, that's the end of the function's name, and you need to simply add in the arguments, which will be the values of the two legs. The values of the two legs are 3 and 4, cells G3, G4. Close the parenthesis and click Enter, and there you have it. 25. Both these values are the same. Here is a quick summary of the formula. We simply summed the legs in the first example, and in the second example we used the function sum squared. So there you have it. Now keep in mind you can use sum squared whenever you want to add up the squares of any numbers. doesn't necessarily have to apply when using the Pythagorean theorem, but we thought this might be a pretty neat example for you to remember the sum squared. We'll see you next time.